Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Welcome to our new build in Tacoma, Washington. Thanks for coming to our page. If you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Today we are driving helical piles. We are running a special helical pile that we've never used before. It's to obtain a greater pressure per square foot so that we can get the correct loading capacity that we need for this particular deck. We're running a double helix pile made by Mascore Helical Piles. And so it has its standard 10 inch round screw on the bottom and then two, three feet up, there's a 12 inch screw also welded to the pile. They're a little bit taller than our standard, but we have a little bit looser soil condition on this particular build. So we're going to try these out and see how they work and see if we can obtain the pressure we need. We need 5,000 foot pounds of torque on this particular build for these three piles. So that's what we're doing today. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, leave the questions below. Get a couple beams in here and see if we can't get our machine up in here. dig digger auger bit it's high torque high, high torque all right guys so we have our first helical pile installed uh the original helical with the double helix was eight feet tall and we didn't quite hit the pressure we needed so then we put an extension on it a six foot extension and we only needed about two feet of that extension i would say to go into the ground but now we've got that 5,000 foot pounds of torque that we needed which is about 2,500 PSI, which is a lot. That, those are, these are probably the most highly pressurized helical piles that I've ever driven so far doing this, but it's in the ground. We got our first one in, so now we're gonna drive the second one and see where we're at and then get those two kind of balanced out and then we'll run a string in between those two and we'll uh, push the third one in and that'll be pretty much the rest of our afternoon. So uh, it is taking us longer to drive these. They take a little bit longer to drive because it's a double helix and you're pushing that much more pressure into the ground to get that uh, pressure that you need to withstand all the loading that we're doing on this deck. So anyway, there you go. That's the update. guys thanks for watching that's all the time we have for today if you liked what you saw today don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content and we're going to sit here and try to find the pressure i think our gauges are failing so we're going to go get those replaced and get back to it so thanks for watching guys have a great day <music>